Good morning, it's Monday, September 14th, 2009. I'm Julie Bedanes, and this is the morning briefing, a look at the top stories we're covering here on WashingtonTimes.com today. It was one year ago today we watched famed Wall Street investment bank Lehman Brothers collapse, setting off a string of events that changed the economic outlook for many people across America and around the world. Plummeting housing values, plunging stocks, and mass layoffs marred the last year. And now President Obama is using the anniversary to tout the need for government financial regulation to prevent any sort of similar incident in the future. The epidemic of sexual violence and war will soon be elevated to the level of importance given climate change and nuclear proliferation. When Secretary of State Hillary Clinton addresses the issue at this month's United Nations Security Council session. She'll push forward a resolution to outlaw sexual violence and conflicts and, and possibly prosecute individuals who commit these acts. Back in Washington, South Carolina Republican Congressman Joe Wilson, the lawmaker that yelled, you lie, during the president's speech last week, said he will not apologize anymore for his behavior. He told Fox this week, and he had apologized already and will never do something like that again, but will not apologize again. House leaders plan to move forward with a resolution of disapproval this week that would formally condemn the congressman's conduct. Well, that's the news for now. Thanks for watching. Stay logged on to WashingtonTimes.com for these stories and your continuous news updates.